Hello, my name is Ty Riley, and I am the owner and director of the Streets Dance Convention and Competition. We're getting ready for season nine, and we couldn't be more excited. With so many dance convention options out there, I'm gonna give you the top reasons on why you should join our Streets family. Reason number one, our mission. Streets Dance Convention and Competition is an all-styles dance event whose mission is to bring a fun, personal, and inspiring event to areas that really don't get that dance convention experience. We're very excited because we are one of the only conventions that are willing to travel to areas that other conventions will not. We host events in cities such as Beaumont, Texas, Shreveport, Louisiana, Homa, Louisiana, and the list goes on and on. If you would like to check out some of our tour cities, please check out our website at thestreetsdance.com. Reason number two, the location of our national finals. Normally, if you or your studio want to attend a nationals for a dance convention and competition, you're left with two options and two options only. You could either travel all the way to the East Coast or travel all the way to the West Coast. For a dancer living in the central United States, those travel costs can rack up tremendously if you want to compete at a national level. So for us, we're very excited to announce that we're one of the only conventions that offers a national finals in the central location of San Antonio, Texas. It's much easier for everybody to travel to and we still have all the great amenities that all the other hotels have and we can't wait to see you there. Number three. We follow a no dancer left behind mentality. Whether you're a beginning dancer and it's one of your first conventions, or you're the seasoned vet that goes to conventions every single weekend, we wanna make equal opportunity and make sure everyone has a great experience at the streets. One of the best ways we follow a no dancer left behind mentality is by the use of our company team. Now normally whenever you enter a dance convention room, the first thing everyone does whenever the teacher walks in the room is runs to the front. And that causes the room to get crowded. Now what we do is we actually take our assistants, instead of putting them on stage like everybody else, we place them around the room like a bubble to where no matter where you are in the room, the back left corner, the very back, on the complete side, you will have someone near you that is your personal assistant. That is what our company assistant team does. They're not just a company team, they're the assistant team. And they're there for you, that is their main purpose, is to make sure you have a great experience. Just for an example, think about tap class. Whenever that tap teacher is on the stage and he's showing his steps, guess what? You probably can't see his feet because everyone is standing in front of you and that stage that he's standing on is only about two foot tall. Now what if I told you you would have someone directly right next to you that would know the choreography that would be willing to teach you step by step, eight count by eight count, to where whenever we start going groups at the end of the class, you will not miss a step. Number four. Our personable faculty and staff. I have handpicked my faculty to be everything that I stand for in a person. They have to be inspiring, humble, a great teacher, a great dancer, and most importantly, a great role model for our kids to look up to. One of the great things about our events is how interactive our teachers are. They will be taking dance classes with the kids, they will be interacting throughout the entire weekend, and they will really have a lot of fun with the kids where it makes everyone and all the dancers feel like they've joined our streets family. Now one thing we don't want to happen is we don't want to be one of those conventions where it just seems like the rooms are so overcrowded to where all these dancers get lost. And, and one thing that we do that's a little bit different is we make sure that every single dancer gets their personal attention from something as small as having names across their, their audition number. A lot of places have large, large numbers. We actually put our names. We want to get to know the kids um, and have fun with the kids throughout the entire weekend. Reason number five the way we pick our event cities. So what we actually do is instead of us picking where we go, we let you, the dance community, pick where we actually go. And that way we know that if there's an area that doesn't really get dance conventions and they normally have to travel three, four, five hours, we will know that there's a need in that area. So now we're gonna start our nominations for our 2018 cities right now. If you would like to nominate your city, all you have to do is comment in the comment section below with the name of the city that you would like to nominate, the studio that you attend, and tag your studio leaders and teachers. The more people that nominate a particular city, the greater chance that your city will be nominated for our 2018 tour. All right, guys, and just to wrap up this video, if you would like to register for our 2017 tour, we're starting off the season with a couple of sold out events, which we're very excited about, but we have limited availability in all the other cities. They're filling up fast. So if you want to register for our events, just go to thestreetsdance.com. 
That is the streets with a Z at the end. And you could register online and we would love for you to join our streets family in 2017.